Regency Hotel in Green Bay with more on the rally happening there. Hi, Paul. And yeah, a bit of a wall in the action right now, but earlier on this afternoon, we did hear from Eric Hovde as well as Mike Lindell and other prominent Republicans here in the state of Wisconsin. What this crowd is waiting for, of course, is the former president, Donald Trump, to speak. That's scheduled for around 5 o'clock this afternoon. Now, the supporters that you see behind me, they've been here all afternoon. You can see some video of them waiting out in the cold, the rain, the snow in order to get inside the hotel here when the doors opened at 2. This is former President Trump's first visit to the Badger State since 2022 when he joined a Tim Michaels campaign event. After winning the state in 2016, he lost it by about 20,000 votes in 2020. This afternoon, I spoke to several Trump supporters from Northeast Wisconsin who said their lives are significantly worse with Biden as president than when Trump was in charge, telling me the economy, crime, and the southern border were some of the issues they are most concerned about. I like the pro-America message. I like the... Uh, pro law and order message, uh, basically uh, saying that you know we're a great country. We need to stay a great country. Uh, you know we need to be that light on a hill for the world to see. GOP Chairman Brian Schimming told me that what he thinks are going to be the two keys for Republicans to reclaim the White House here in November are voter turnout as well as getting Republicans on board with the importance of early voting. Live from Green Bay, Paul Sino, Local 5 News.